A film like Widows helps to empower women because it is about strong, interesting, feisty survivors. But fundamentally, because women like to see themselves on screen. And, you know, someone like Steve McQueen and Gillian Flynn, who wrote the film, even before Time's Up and Me Too, knew that the time was coming, that really we needed to break down these barriers. And they wrote this brilliant screenplay and then they cast a bunch of women in it and understood something that Hollywood is, is slowly Something wrong. Not at all, Mr. Locking. I work for your father-in-law, and you're going straight to the VIP room. Welcome to Australia. VIP, bloody damn it. Now they're never gonna x-ray your bag. I don't I don't quite know where to start. You see, I didn't realize until the other night that I'd met Gatsby five years ago in Louisville. That was the day I got my new English golf shoes. I love you, but only as a friend. You have to understand that. I'm in love with Josh. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm off the myth. I don't do coke on weekends. I mean, what more do you want from me? <laughs> what will it take for you to understand how I feel about... It's based on a true story about two sisters in France in the 1930s who play out sensual fantasies as they plot ways to kill their domineering mistress. Elizabeth plays the, the mistress, and Isabelle Pair and I play the maids who, who play. Whose soul name blisters our tongue? Whose once thought honest? I'm afraid it isn't going to stop me cutting. Oh. Sleep well. Where my mother go? But from a medical standpoint, getting you to the top of Everest is really about oxygen and the lack of it. Uh, to give you the best chance of summiting, you need to prepare your bodies for the thin air up there. So over the next month, before the final ascent, you're going to make three partial acclimatising ascents, returning here to base camp after each one. It's actually good news. Thomas is going to be staying for a while, and he's fighting fit again. It's great. Gonna come for a swim? Go on. Corky can lend you some speedos. I'd like to. Corky? Yes. 
as do you. I believe if no one is there to see the stars, Feisty. <laughs> She's an adorable, Aww. one foot tall rebel. Shh, I can leave yes. The elements here are pretty fabulous. The elephants around here are really flatulent. Wait, what? I won't let you take the shepherd away from my world, Smith. Jensen, please. Why have you come back? You could have gone home. We were a crew. We were never a crew. Stay away from her, Hamilton. This had to happen from the moment you wiped my crew, my station from existence. You must be Alice. You look just like you. Take that as a compliment. Eric, my grandma came off. I just like vodka. Excuse me, can you get that? This is real. Three, two, one. Next one's a bullet to the head. No. One. No. Listen to me. Two. Three. I can help. Don't have time to negotiate. Tell me or I'll shoot her again. Spot your mistake. Some more then. 